Marie. Um, did you start without me? I was looking for my sojo. It's gone somewhere. cup of tea always makes it better well thank you for coming back um i don't know i wasn't here last week because i had absolutely nothing to tell you and oh, i know we've all been there we've all lost the sojo but at the minute i don't know this has been two weeks now and i've not made anything and the week before that i made a mask so that's three weeks. That's amazing. So in one sense, I'm not beating myself up about it. But in another sense, I'm sad because I usually enjoy sewing and it at the minute it's just not there. So I think one of the, there are a few reasons why I think my sojo is a what. One of them is because I was part way through making my uh, paper cut patterns Nova coat and I have got the outer shell more or less constructed and the lining cut out but it's a coat that I think is more for autumn and spring and not winter and last week our weather took a turn for the cold it was coming you know we should have had it a few weeks before to be honest but then I realised that halfway through that, I'm not really going to be able to wear the coat until March, maybe. Um, and it just put me off finishing it, which is silly, but it, it did. That's just what happened. Another reason is that, to be honest, um, I was thinking that I don't really need that many more items of clothing at the moment. And, um, I'm trying to be sensible about what I sew. It would be quite easy just to sit and sew and sew and sew and then have a wardrobe full of things that I hardly ever wear. And apart from it feeling a little bit like, it's not a waste of time if I've enjoyed the process, but if the product at the end isn't something I'm going to wear, there is a, an element of time wasting in there. Um, also, fabric wasting and all of that, I'm quite conscious about, you know, just buying what I need and I just didn't feel like I needed anything else. I couldn't see what else I needed. Um, and I have a stash of stuff that I could quite easily pull something out of if necessary. So that was preying on my mind. And I think the other thing was that, um, and I mentioned it in my last video, I have um, decided to make um, an item of clothing as a Christmas gift and um, I don't want to go into too many details but I don't often make things for other people and I'm starting to feel a little better about it but um, I think that's that's preying on my mind as well that I want to get this garment right and I haven't start I hadn't started it because I hadn't found the right pattern um, and even if I had, I'd wanted to finish my coat first and then that happened. So um, I, every time I think about what I'm going to sew next, I think about this present and then I think about how I need to make it and what size and I'm trying to make it by stealth as well. I don't want the person to know that I'm making it. So I can't ask for measurements. Um, either from that person or from their family because I just don't want to for a number of reasons. What I've done is I've measured a similar item that kind of fits but the point about me making one is that I want it to fit better than shop bought um, so I'm having to do a bit of guesswork and I, that is just preying on my mind and because I hadn't found a pattern I hadn't even been able to get on with that so all of that means Marie Sojo is gone a wall. However, things may be about to change. Um, 
one of the things was that I took a little trip yesterday to Leon's fabric store on the way home from work. I've got a few hours work for the next couple of weeks, so um, that's also taken up a bit of time. So yes, popped into Leon's, um, picked up some items for some of the smaller Christmas gifts and also saw some um, sweater knit type fabric and immediately thought, yes, I know what I can make with that and I know what it will go with. So I bought one metre of a piece of fabric. I haven't got it to hand, um, it's in the washing machine. Um, I bought one metre of that and I'm gonna make a sweater with it and pair it with some fabric that's in my stash. Um, that's been sitting there for quite a while that I knew I wanted to make a skirt with but didn't have anything for the skirt to go with. So that's nice, I've, I've created in my head a nice little outfit, hopefully it'll work out as I imagine. So that is something to look forward to, so I'm already feeling better. Um, I bought a metre of another sweater fabric as well, they're both quite wide so I might be able to make something like this, which is um, my mock-up Mandy Boat uh, tea sweater, which is nice for, nice and warm for around the house. Um, so that's those and it's, as I'm recording today, it's Black Friday and I have had an eye on um, the sales. I don't think I'm gonna buy any fabric um, for the reasons I've already mentioned, but what I have done is it's helped me to choose a pattern that I'm going to use to make the Christmas gift that I've been dithering about and I have, um, bought and downloaded the Helen's Closet Jackson tee and pullover. Um, it's quite look, like the look of that to have a go for myself as well. So um, it's quite a versatile uh, pattern. It's gender neutral, so it could be made to fit a range of body shapes without too many adjustments, I think. So I'm quite looking forward to that. I haven't sent it off yet. I'm just gonna wait um, until Monday to see if there's anything else that takes my fancy and then I'll send it off um, to be printed on A0 because um, that's easier, I think, at the moment. Um, so I'll, I'll do that next week. Then hopefully they usually come back fairly quickly. So by this time next week, I might have been able to start certainly doing some pattern tracing and uh, there might be an update for you there. <sighs> yeah, it's weird not being able to sew but there's no point making myself because I'm not enjoying it, it defeats the purpose. I've been doing some knitting, I'm almost finished the garment that I'm making as a Christmas gift. All of these I'll have pictures for after they've been gifted. Um, I just don't want to spill the beans before. What else is on the cards this week? Well, uh, as soon as I finish recording this, I'm heading out to get my COVID booster. So I'm not sure how much I'm gonna get through this weekend, if anything, because people have different reactions to it. So I kind of prepared to be tired and not available to do anything. Um, if I feel a bit more energetic, that's a bonus, but in any case, all of it is better, in my opinion, than actually getting COVID. So I will be off there in about 10 minutes. And tomorrow, depending on how I feel, I'm supposed to have an appointment at the hairdresser. Um, I've missed an appointment. My hairdresser uh, at our last appointment had the COVID, so we had to cancel. Um, and then of course there was recovery time and then it was so near to the appointment that I had here that we just thought well let's leave it so I'm hoping to get a little bit of a tidy up on this um, and I I don't know really um, I think I'm just going to have to wait and see how I feel over the weekend and and take it from there so I want to see um, House of Gucci at the cinema, um, if I can find a slot to go and see it where it's not gonna to be too busy, um, because that looks interesting. 
I have heard varying reviews, but it certainly looks like it's worth watching. So um, if I can make it this week, I might poodle along, otherwise I'll leave it till the week after. So I had, oh, I got new glasses as well. I like them. I like the color. Um, yes, still getting used to them, but I've, they're very focals and I've had very focals all the time I've had glasses so I don't generally take that long to get used to a new pair thank goodness I know some people have great difficulty so yeah so has anybody bought anything interesting in Black Friday have you um, I'm not going to say being good because it's not about that but I think there's quite a lot of pressure to buy things and um, but it's You'll save a few pounds, but it's not like you bought a widescreen television at half price. So I think if you really want something, go ahead and take advantage. But if you're not really sure or nothing catches your fancy, there's nothing wrong in not for the sake of a few pounds or a few dollars. You know, there's nothing wrong with leaving it there. Um, there you go. Marie said it's OK not to go mad if that's what you want to do. If you want to go mad go mad right i'm off to get my booster and i hope you all have a lovely weekend um take care if you're in england and scotland and anywhere around here because i think the weather's going to be quite bad very windy um and i hope all anybody who's watching in the states i hope you had a lovely thanksgiving i just realized that i didn't um didn't say anything yesterday so i hope you had a lovely time uh with your family and your friends Take care and hopefully I'll be back next week with lots to tell you.